What's going on guys, it's Atenadoro from the TheNerdHerd.com and it's been a while since we've done a PS Vita video so let's get on to it. Um, this is a review on, well not a review, more of a hands on with Ragnarok Odyssey for the Vita. So Ragnarok Odyssey is a Monster Hunter-esque type of game. If you're familiar with Monster Hunter you won't be disappointed with Ragnarok Odyssey. Uh, came out a few week, a few days ago, uh, October 31st. We are on the 9th now so it's been a little over a week. And uh, it's had some pretty good reception. Um, a lot of people like the game. A lot of people have been rating it pretty well. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's thirty nine ninety nine on the PSN store, or if on your favorite uh, brick and mortar store. So what Best Buy, GameStop, Target, whatever they have it, just buy it. Uh, the download is about one point one gigs if you're getting the digital version. So not bad at, at all. Um, I have thirty two gig uh, memory card here, so I don't have any issues downloading the game. So, let's load the game up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Get rid of all of the uh, splash screens, of course. So, all the legalities of it. And, game starting. So, you skip the uh, scene. If you want to see that cut screen, you can just go ahead and watch any of the other uh, videos about that. So, let's go ahead and start. Load my game up. Um, it's pretty basic. Um, when you start the game up, you get to customize your character. You make a man or a woman, and you can customize hairstyle, facial features, voice, clothing, the colors, the armor, um, the weapon set. So you have different classes. You have like a hunter class, mage class, cleric class, warrior class, and a uh, hammer people class. Oh, and assassins, sorry. Assassins and also like the hammer class. So my character here is a female hunter. Um, I guess like with the skin color you can make them look like elvish, like, like kind of, so minus like a little bit like an elf. Um, the basic components of the game is this is the main hall area, at least so far in the beginning of the game. And um, you, this woman in the first desk here gives you your quest. This woman lets you buy items like potions or antidotes. And this woman over here gives you the um, cards. Cards are what you use to... Uh, you know, increase your stats since there isn't really a leveling system here by equipping cards is how you'll increase your HP your AP your uh, attack defense whatever whatever so you need cards so let's go ahead and buy one um, I already did uh, two missions so far so I'll be able to buy something here so I already so let's buy this it's 500 yen let's buy the spore car since it helps resist poison um, and the next quest I'm going to be doing is going to be a uh, poison quest. Okay, and we will buy this piece of the potion counter. How may I help you? Let's buy some potions. Yes. And I already have them on square, so those go there. There's a maximum number of the items you can carry, so just know that. I'll buy three because all the money I have left. Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So, this is your treasure chest area. So, it's very reminiscent to Monster Hunter. Like, I'm really serious. This is a Monster Hunter clone, basically. Um, let's change equipment. Um, the card has equipped all of my... Oh, I can't equip the card. Which one? Ah, so you have, like, a, a point counter on the bottom that shows you how many of the items you can actually use. So that's that's interesting. Um, poison, I need poison of AP up, treasure hunter. Let's leave it like that. And I'll equip the uh, antidotes. Alright. Okay, so let's Hello. tackle a quest so you see what gameplay on this is like. And we'll take the next quest, which is a river hunting quest. Haven't done this yet, I just know it does include poison. So we go into the door, um, it's, you know, you'll get a nice little uh, musical note at the end. It's not exactly the horn at the end of Monster Hunter, but it's it's similar. And just like Monster Hunter, you start off with a cinematic of the area you're going to be in, along with some of the creatures that are there. Um, I would say the graphics on this look pretty nice. I mean, it takes great advantage of the Vita. This looks a lot better than Monster Hunter does on the PSP. Um, I have a copy of Monster Hunter um, Freedom Unite as a download on the Vita, so very nice and controls are very fluid as well um, you can move around with the analog stick and with the right analog stick the camera I mean or the directional patch so if you want to crab claw I don't know why you would want to but if you want to do that you can 
Um, combat is pretty simple. The uh, X is to jump, square is to do the dash. Jumping and dashing takes up AP points. I see up there the yellow bar went down. Um, triangle is the quick at light attack and uh, circle is the heavy attack. So the way you do moves is you do combinations. So you gotta keep mashing the different buttons together to do something different. So triangle, triangle, circle gives me a machine gun flurry attack. Triangle, 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 circle. Oh, same thing. Okay. Triangle, circle, circle, circle gives me a wide area range attack, which is actually something the hunter is really good at. Hunter is very nice for wide area damage. And uh, right button allows you to move faster, which does take up AP. And the left trigger um, helps you aim when you're fighting. So to aim, you pretty much get by a monster. Even if, like, if you can see them in the camera distance, you can aim on them. Just hold on the left button and you can maneuver around with the directional pad. If you're fighting bosses, you use up and down to maneuver between them. So that's very nice if you have a screen full of bosses and, re and regular monsters and you just want to focus on one. So let's go ahead and fight. So as you see there, there's a damage counter that shows how much damage you're doing. And I already am just damaging the hell out of this guy. Don't want to get hit. Okay, it died. And when it, they die, they usually they drop some items. Let's see what this person drops, what this creature drops when we destroy them. Ugh, oh, I'm getting hit. Okay. Okay. So as you see there, those blue orbs that are surrounding me are drop items. Usually they're, um, you know, material catalysts you use uh, to make other items. So they help to make like a different equipment or um, different cards for your equipment. Okay. So when they're red, that usually means they're ready to be staggered or knocked down. Um, a nice element, well, different element about this game that Monster Hunters you can jump. So usually when monsters are in red and you can hit them with the uh, heavy move, they get thrown into the air and they're pretty much stunned. If you've played um, Final Fantasy 13, for example, um, you know that when enemies are staggering and sent into the air, you can actually do um, combination moves on them. See like this one's in the air, then I can just hit them while they're staggering and do different combination moves. I believe this guy died, yep. Okay, so we got through this area. Let's keep going. Um, you know where to go next when you see that blue uh, card by there. So that blue card tells you where to go. Um, here's some really interesting part. The area's going to get locked down. And in order for me to pass, I need to defeat all of the enemies in this area. Ugh, I'm getting hit. And knocked down. Oh, boy. Oh, it's four. A little bug in this game. I'm not sure if it's just the game itself or this version of the game. Um, when creatures technically die, their body stays there for a few seconds and you can actually keep hitting them and keep chaining combo points. Not sure if it's supposed to be that way or if it's just uh, a glitch in the game. We'll see what it goes when they release um, firmware patches for the game. Which is something Sony or you know game developers actually do for the Vita quite often. Uh, let's experiment and see. Oh, something's here. A lot of times the quests you're going to be doing vary whether it's like a, a quest for the story or a quest for the uh, the people in the village that you're in, a lot of times they want you to uh, open areas and added bonus of opening areas is that you get more items because then the townsfolk uh, are able to gather more items there and make more equipment for you. Um, you find various crates around, you can break them and get items. Oh no, here's where I'm about to do it, like oh no I'm dying here. Yeah. You see you send them all into the air and they just just really damages them. It's very useful for crowd control, especially because you will be fighting monsters here by the dozen. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh my god, I'm dying. What I don't like is like, oh, I just died. So here's an example. You get the revival system. When you get KO'd, you're able to uh, come back to life. You get three revives per quest. Yeah, it's a very easy quest. Don't know. Oh my god. These are reminding me of freaking Murlocs from World of Warcraft. And my area damage is just too far to do anything. Also, the camera angles, uh, not too excited about or happy about that. Um, I get lost in the camera very often. I'm just doing light attacks now because I just don't want to get killed by these guys. There's only one left, I think. Or two. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. So let me just heal up a bit. You heal just by touching the potions. Um, what I don't like is that they do that same sort of animation you get when you're um, healing in Monster Hunter. It's very annoying, but it's very, it has a strategic element to it so that you don't, you're not just, you know, continuously healing. You have to like figure out when you're gonna heal. The combo moves are okay. It gives a nice aspect to the game. Something new. Um, I would prefer if you can actually um, decide which combo moves you would like to use. I don't like the uh, the charge one, like this one in particular, because it only does damage to enemies when they're far away from me, and I can't ever gauge you know, exactly how far an enemy is from me. If they're even going to get hit by the move. So I prefer this one. Not only for the rapid attacks. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far I have to go into this quest. See there, it just doesn't work. Let's just keep going. Uh, this is this is an area I cannot get into. When you you see on the map, there's an X. Um, I cannot pass through there, at least not yet. So let's continue on. See my timer still goes. So I have 21 minutes left to complete the quest. Um, anything hidden around here, or maybe I just have to defeat all of the monsters. Oh, so I have to defeat a certain amount of these monsters. And I see quest is clear, I can still continue fighting the uh, monster if I, or other monsters in the areas. And that right there is an example of a uh, staggering combo attack. You see, this monster is dead already, but I'm, I, I keep hitting it. Um, and I'm not even locked on right now, this is just me regularly attacking. Alright, so there's the uh, screen you get when you finish. Um, how long it took you to do it, your maximum combo. Monsters killed, wow, 37 of the muscles with those stupid ants. Um, times KO, I died once, and my reward is 900 zenny. Okay, and here are the items that I found during my quest here. I'm going to just send them all to the, uh, the closet. Okay, you can also sell them for money if you need cash. And I want to save, yes. And then we go back to the uh, the main area. And you see new item, new stock in the item shop that happens when you get more items. So let's see what she has. Oh wait, something's going on. Very nice to find a card from a monster. Ready for you. See, so you get the uh, cards from monsters. Uh, poison resist, defense up, detail. 
like that. Uh, I'm going to take a look at what cards I have on the uh, thing. I can't check. Well, anyway, guys, I guess that's pretty much it for the game in terms of combat and gameplay. Um, game pretty much stays the same. You're just fighting and going through quests. Alright, so you can find the game now. It's available. You can purchase it on PSN or whatever. And, uh, you know, check it out yourself. Alright, so again, until next time, guys, it's Tenedoro from the nerdherd.com. And we'll see you later.